Hi, I'm Busybody, and this is a quick explanation of the Chesterfield County School Board Safety Task Force Armed Mentor Plan. From one busy parent to another, so I'm going to make this fast. This picture was pulled from the original version of the proposal and has since been deleted. Yikes. A little background. In 2013, the Governor's School Safety Task Force released several recommendations for school safety, and as a result, in Chesterfield County, several task forces were formed. One was led by the recently fired Donald Green. You might know him from TV. He was fired because of his Facebook posts, and there were tons of these racist, fear-mongering posts. And this is the guy who was in charge of keeping all students safe, so it's great that he's gone, but his plan is still in play. Four safety task forces were formed. We'll mostly be talking about working group number two, school safety, and their armed security mentor plan. They plan to pilot this year in September with ASMs in 10 elementary schools, which will be, quote, determined by need with no explanation of what that means. The first year budget is $385,000, and most of that is going to labor because ASMs will make $25 to $35 an hour, which is way more than a lot of school personnel make. They will also be part-time because they're retired police officers with work restrictions, which means that before school, after school, and special events will not have coverage under this plan, which seems like a problem. Their equipment needs are stated at $30,000, which includes computers, body armor, uniforms, training ammo, but guns are not listed, so I'm not sure if they're getting those donated or if they just forgot to put them on the list. I went to this meeting on June 27th and heard Donald talk about his plan. The original plan was to survey all Chesterfield County parents about whether or not they wanted to put armed retired police officers in elementary schools, but citing SOL testing and end of the school year activities, they didn't have time. So they surveyed instead under 400 school personnel about whether or not it was okay to do this in your kid's school, and they plan to survey the parents later. On their website, the School Safety Task Force says that their goal is to provide a safe, supportive, and nurturing learning environment for all students, staff, and administrators. That sounds great. Horrible truth time. Children of color in America are disproportionately targeted by the system, and this includes schools. Because of this systemic racism and violence, armed mentors are very ineffective and very traumatizing. Here are the words of a black mom in your community. My special needs 13-year-old son was a CCPS middle school student with an IEP for an emotional disability on the autism spectrum. I don't make excuses for my kid. He can be very difficult. At this IEP, the SRO with his loaded weapon was at the meeting. When asked why he was there, he said, and this is a pretty direct quote because it was so jarring, I like to know what's going on so I can give the high school a heads up for what's going on. This is atrocious. This week, Delegate Don Adams released a very extensive study that is a close analysis of the school shooting data from Columbine in 1999 to Parkland this year. It revealed the following. You can pause the video or I'll link to the full study below, but I'm gonna talk about the takeaways. Takeaway number one, our students need mental health support. There is a clear lack of recognition by families and school staff regarding the mental health needs of our youth, particularly our young men. There does appear to be a clear relationship between poor mental health and mass shootings. Three quarters of all students involved in mass shootings had a mental illness diagnosis, and more than half of these shooters obtained their weapons legally. These are the current numbers for employment of counselors in Chesterfield County. It's important to note that this data is just employment numbers, and many of these counselors are overstretched and spend most of their time as SOL testing coordinators and are not available as counselors. But still, the numbers are nuts. We need more trained mentors, more counselors, not armed mentors. Takeaway number two, sensible gun laws matter. By simply reinstating prior Virginia laws around guns, Virginia could reduce ease of access to guns for some people without negatively impacting one's inherent right to bear arms. No one's trying to take your gun. So why are gun laws in Virginia so lax? And why is it so hard to pass legislation that makes us safer? While stuff like this is happening? These are the current Virginia laws. You can pause it. I'd sort of break down the language a little bit just in case you don't understand, because I didn't. But guns2carry.com loves Virginia. 
So knowing what we know, who's blocking sensible gun laws to keep citizens safe, and why? Uh-oh, these charming folks who valued money over safety. It's weird these columns match up. Hopeful truth time. All parents want safer schools, regardless of your politics. This is what unites us. This sucks. How can I help? Is what I hope you're saying right now. Step one, attend the public task force meetings as a concerned parent. Here's the next one. Write it down. You should come. Get a babysitter. Send someone else. Come. Here are some questions that we should have answered, and you can ask them at the meeting, or I'll ask them, and try not to yell. How will Donald Green's replacement be better vetted to ensure that the head of safety and security is not a hateful racist with an agenda? Will Green's plan be immediately scrapped? If not, we need to fight hard to delay this poorly researched dangerous solution. If the plan is scrapped, can proposed funds be used to help CCPS hire more actual trained counselors to support our students? Sounds good to me. Step two, flood inboxes and voicemails. I'm gonna link below to the Board of Education website where you can contact everybody. These are your public servants. Tell them what you want. And share this video. Like and subscribe for updates. I'm not making any money off of this. And it's 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm finishing this. I'm going to be at a table in the morning. I'm a concerned mom. I'm not running for office. I don't want guns in my kids' school. And I love facts. Thank you.